Hi guys, Steve here. I've never done this before, but I've got to issue an urgent warning about Ark Survival Standard. I live streamed ASA all yesterday and told over 100,000 people that it looked a lot better and they should get it if they've got a high enough graphics card. I've got a 2080 Ti and I was getting an average of 30 to 40 frames per second on 1080p at medium settings. However, after the stream, I found out some really bad news. The deal that gave Nitrado exclusive rights to host Ark Survival Ascended servers sucked because it gave them a monopoly over server hosting and you couldn't rent an ASA server from the company you knew and trusted. But at least we still could host our own Ark Survival Ascended servers from our own machines. But it looks like Snail Games, Wildcard and more importantly Nitrado have lied to us all. As reported on by Neddy the Noodle, Nitrado have stopped people hosting their own servers. Alright, so to break this down, I got class in like 10 minutes, but basically uh, Nitrado has just shut out the ability for ARC players to host their own servers, whether through, you know, over on their own machines or through metalware that they're renting out. Uh, yesterday I just rented out a 12 month upfront subscription uh, to do just this because I'm familiar with hosting my own servers and I expected that Nitrata was going to hold up what I'm pretty damn sure they said they were going to do, which is allow you to host your own servers for ASA. Um, but apparently you can't do that and you're going to have to go through them to get to host your own dedicated servers. Um, this is completely unacceptable and, and to be quite honest, if this isn't fixed within a week, I'm not playing ASA. Um, I'm not. I'm not supporting this game. I'm not going to record it. Uh, I'll find something else to do. Just, just flat out. So those are my terms. Uh, fix this shit. Thanks. So if you're thinking of buying Ark Survival Ascended, only get it if you have a good enough graphics card and that you've resigned yourself in probably only ever playing it in single player mode. Because your only options are... Join official multiplayer PvP, where you will get no sleep and worry about your base getting raided when you're away from your computer. Then get wiped by Mega Tribe Alliances when the cross-server transfers come online. Or get banned from a game from Snail Games Pet Tribe T-Tribe if you raid them. Or... Go to official PvE, where your game options are restricted, and the landscape will be covered in pillars and foundations. Never mind the lag for rubber banding and rollbacks. If you can even get on official, because it looks like Nitrado doesn't have enough servers to support everybody who wants to play. Now they're the only ones with exclusive server hosting, and are all full and people can't even get in them. Option three, yes there are some unofficial hosted servers, but for how long? I need to confirm this, but it looks like Nitrado are already abusing their monopoly, as it looks like they've raised a minimal slot server you can rent, and its price, allegedly. So they can raise the prices up to whatever they want, whenever they want, until people won't be able to afford them, apart from Nitrado partners who will get the servers for free. And there's no competition because Nitrado have exclusive rights to host the servers. So, if you want to play Ark Survival Ascended multiplayer with a few friends, the only option now is to rent a 26-slot server from Nitrado, even if there's only a handful of you want to play together. Then later, they can raise the prices to whatever they want. Think about it for a moment. The only way you can play ASA peacefully with your friends is to be forced to rent a 26-slot server from Nitrado. What would you call that? Because everyone who can't afford to do that, or doesn't want to, and they don't want to do the other bad options, for them now, and for most of you, Ark Now will become just a single player game that you can't play with your friends. Look at these graphics on screen now. They look really good, and you're really tempted to buy this game and play it. But remember this. The main reason what kept Ark Survival Evolved alive for so long was all the people playing on their private hosted servers, as they were better than official. But now, for all those big private server hosters that had 70 slot servers, that had huge popular communities that ran for years, it's going to cost a fortune to run those big servers, as they can't host it on their own equipment anymore, and they've got to rent them from Nitrado. 
to expect most, if not all, of those private hosted servers to start vanishing. Then you'd be only left with official PvE or PvP to play on. So, if Nitrado doesn't fix this, Nitrado will end up killing Ark Survival Ascended really quickly. Because they'll change Ark from one of the most popular multiplayer games to a dead single player game. So bear that in mind if you're thinking of buying it. Seriously, can these companies not do anything right? Because the news just gets worse and worse. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, please. I'm going to see Ark as a single player game and play it by myself. Unless I can figure out a way to play with my friends. Because I just can't stop screwing this up. And for the creators who partnered with Nitrado, and all of you creators who normally don't rock the boat, you know what I've said is right. You need to say something while you can, while you've still got a community. Because if you don't, Nitrado will be the death of Ark. Because this game can't survive as it is, as a single player. People will just get bored and leave. Thanks for watching guys, sorry for bad news. Please like, subscribe, follow, share, definitely share this crap. Send it to everyone you know, because everyone should know about this before the buy arc. Arc descended. I suppose I'll have to live stream and make my guides for us single players out there now. And hope something dramatically changes things.